Now, how much do you know about getting the best out of your camera? Not necessarily a SLR camera, because if you have a proper camera, chances are you know what you're doing with it. But the camera on your phone could be used to get some incredible pictures if you only have some top tips on how to get the best out of it. And we're hopefully going to get some of those now from Graham Redding. Good evening, Graham. Good evening, Simon. Please tell us a bit about your photography background. Well, I started as a freelance photographer doing press when I was 40, 21 years ago. And I used to be Saturday boy for the Ealing Gazette and papers around London. And you've had quite an accomplished career since then. The photography career has led me being to um, staff photographer on the Windsor and Slough um, newspapers. I recently covered, well, two years ago, I covered the Royal Wedding for them, back from the Isle of Wight. Um, and I was a diary photographer for OK Magazine for 16 years. Could you give us a tip, please, on how to compose the perfect photo? <laughs> uh, photography is very subjective, Simon. Um, I go to many lectures and I've done a lot of study on it. Uh, and there's certain things you do for competition. But I think as a keen hobbyist, and I still am, as well as being a professional, I think just go and do it. So forget about what is perfect, just go and have fun taking photos. There are rules uh, and I can guide people on rules, but the thing is to go out and do it. If you've got something that's pleasing to you, hey presto, it's great. Well, most people will be taking those photos with the cameras on their smartphones. So could you give us any tips on how to get great pictures using a smartphone? Um, it depends what you want to do with the picture. If you want to compose something where your horizons are horizontal, then hold the camera steady. It, it really depends what you do. So it's difficult to answer that question without knowing the specifics. Um, if you want to get somebody... Um, close up and move closer or ask them to move closer to you. If you want them distant, move away. Is there anything we need to consider in terms of lighting? Um, the cameras are so good these days that they tend to interpret the light. Sometimes I find they do it better than my professional camera. And uh, sometimes I'll use the camera phone if I need something quickly without having to think about it. So the light is all around us. If your camera is picking up the light and you can see a result, that's good. If when you look at the picture it's looking really dark, think about how you can get more light into the subject. Um, if you have got a face in front of you and it's looking a bit dark and you've got a white shirt on, move a bit closer so that the sun will reflect off your shirt and light up the face or stand somebody by a, white, a lighter wall. So it's kind of using your brain and just thinking, how can I get light into the picture? That's a great tip about the shirt. I hadn't considered that for one moment. You've been quite busy during coronavirus while you've been out on your walks. Um, yeah, a friend of mine suggested, um, why not, when I'm walking, take a photograph of elderly people so that they can send it to their relatives because there's no contact. And I was a bit concerned because I don't want to be seen to be working um, when it's the time is sensitive. But I... I've been out for a couple of days and taken about 10 photographs of people happily waving at their relatives, all from a very safe distance on a long lens or through a window and caring for an elderly mother myself. I can't have any contact. I've been doing it um, just as a little test drive with people I know. Um, my hope is that if anybody wanted to pick up on it and I've got acres of time on my hand, as long as it's local to me, I can walk locally to um, to where they are. If people would like a picture of their elderly relative on the island, in Ride in particular, how can they find you, Graham? Well, various ways of finding me. The easiest way is to Google my name, Graham Redding, G-R-A-H-A-M-R-E-A-D-I-N-G. If you put .com on the end, you'll get my blog, which is soon to be developed into a website, um, but the blog is currently running. Um, and if you Google Graham Redding Photography Facebook... Um, I've got an album up on the Graham Redding Photography Facebook page of um, photos that I've been taking. And please tell me that you have a smartphone full of pictures just like the rest of us. Before the lockdown, I was in Santorini and my phone was so jammed, I, <laughs> I've taken acres of hard disk space unveiling it. Um, I'm, a, I'm, I'm very much a hobbyist. It's very much my passion. And to be able to use my passion to help people and do something creative at a time when we're all feeling a bit um, dull, then it gives me great pleasure. So just like the rest of us, Graham will be spending some of his lockdown clearing out all the pictures on his phone. Graham Redding, thanks for your time this evening. Thanks, Simon.